Star Wars 7 by 7 episode 2672. So a rumor broke last week about the possibility of Hayden Christensen appearing in the Ahsoka series. I waited for a few days to see how the rumor shook out and so now I'm ready to talk about what I've learned and how legit it may or may not be. And this episode is brought to you by the fine folks at cufflinks.com. Punch it! Hey Rebel Razor, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So, just to recap, it was the Hollywood Reporter that broke the news, or broke the rumor there, saying that multiple sources are telling them that Hayden Christensen is being brought on to the Ahsoka series, so not just the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, but the Ahsoka series as well. So usually when there's a report in Hollywood trade magazines like The Hollywood Reporter, that's generally a better, more reliable source than any other out there as far as news and rumors go, right? Because that's very connected into Hollywood. And from time to time, studios are actually using these outlets as ways to leak stories intentionally. So yeah, when it's coming from a Hollywood trade, it's usually pretty reliable. But the weird thing thing about this is that it wasn't reported by Variety. So usually the three publications, like the major ones that you watch for Hollywood would be The Hollywood Reporter and Variety and Deadline Hollywood. And if one of them breaks a story, usually the other two will check in with their own sources and publish their own story and say that we've confirmed with our sources that this is legit and they'll put a thing at the bottom that says that, you know, The Hollywood Reporter was the first to break the story or something to that effect. And so Deadline Hollywood did this, but Variety did not. And I found that very odd. I mean, Variety is usually pretty on top of these things, so why wouldn't they have their own story about this? I mean, did it mean that they weren't able to confirm it with their own sources? But it turns out there's another wrinkle to this. Apparently, Rosario Dawson, who played Ahsoka Tano in The Mandalorian and who will play the character in the Ahsoka series, posted on Instagram a picture of herself and Hayden Christensen with the caption, Sky Guy, they know, see you soon, Snips. And for those of you who don't know, Sky Guy is Ahsoka Tano's nickname for Anakin Skywalker, and Snips is Anakin's nickname for Ahsoka. So that seemed to be <laughs> about as strong of a confirmation as you could ask for. The Instagram post has now been deleted, but it was captured and posted by the fandom Twitter account, fandom being the place that hosts all the wikis for all sorts of different fandoms, including Wikipedia. So the upshot is, is that it seems like it's pretty legit, which is amazing and awesome. And so it leads you to the next question, which is where are they with the whole Ahsoka series so far? And we really don't know much of anything. There are some things that we can kind of, you know, reason our way into, like the fact that the Ahsoka series can't possibly arrive until 2023 at the earliest because they've already got so much on their plate as is with Book of Boba Fett and Kenobi and the Bad Batch and Andor and Mando season three. Although I will say, and you know, feel free to correct me or tell me that you think differently about this, with Mandalorian Season 3 going into production now, I have a feeling that Dave Filoni is not going to be as actively involved in it as he was with the first two seasons. I think his role is going to step back a little more, similar to how he kind of stepped back a little bit from animated series and went on to work on The Mandalorian. So now it would be his opportunity to kind of step back from The Mandalorian a little bit and focus on writing and creating the Ahsoka series. But there's an even more pressing question, which is, since the Ahsoka series is supposed to take place during the time of The Mandalorian, how can Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader appear in this series? And there are a couple of possibilities, but before I get to those, I do want to say thank you once again to the folks at cufflinks.com for partnering with us on the podcast this month. Right now I'm repping their Jedi Order lapel pin, which is wicked cool, and it's just one more example of how much you can tell that the three brothers who founded this company love Star Wars. I mean, the variety of Star Wars items for every particular kind of fan 
within Star Wars is amazing. Whether you're a fan of original trilogy or sequel trilogy or prequel trilogy or you're a fan of good guys or bad guys or scoundrels, Jedi or Sith, you name it, you can find something awesome at cufflinks.com and you can save 15% on it as well because when you go there, with no minimum purchase necessary, you can use code SW7X715 and take 15% off your entire order. Again, that's SW7X715 at cufflinks.com. All right, so here are three possibilities for how Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader could appear in the Ahsoka Tano series. First of all, flashbacks, okay? So yeah, that one seems like kind of an easy one, I think. Yeah, you know, let's see them in action. And that actually would imply the use of another actor, probably to portray a younger Ahsoka Tano. And honestly, if they do this and they don't also get Ewan McGregor to make a bit of a cameo too, oh, I feel like that would be a lost opportunity. But I'm only talking about flashbacks to the Clone Wars. It could also be flashbacks after the Clone Wars when the Empire falls. And, you know, we don't know whether Vader and Ahsoka had any interaction after that, except for the stuff that we see in Star Wars Rebels, maybe there's more, maybe it goes beyond that for all we know. So that's one option. Another option is the Force Ghost option. So we know that Anakin was redeemed at the end of Return of the Jedi and he was able to appear as a Force Ghost at the end of the movie. So that means he can be kicking around and talking to people. And of course he was part of the last scene or one of the final scenes in The Rise of Skywalker talking to Rey, right? So yeah, that's definitely another way that he could appear. And I'll tell you, there's a part of me that feels like that would be a beautiful way to go for the two of them to have continuing conversations and to see the dynamic between them develop over the years. I mean, yeah, that there's a certain compelling quality about that to me. And the last option is the world between worlds. I would say this is probably the most outrageous of the options that I've come up with so far. The world between worlds, if you are not familiar with it, this was a thing that happened in the final season of Star Wars Rebels, and basically it helped explain how Ahsoka managed to survive the events of her interaction with Vader, her battle with Vader in the end of season two of Rebels, The Twilight of the Apprentice. It was this sort of mystical plane beyond time and space that exists within the Force and connects different worlds and different times all together in this one crazy place. And there was a situation where Ezra was considering trying to rescue Kanan in the same way and yeah it doesn't necessarily work that way I guess at least that's what he and Ahsoka figured out while they were in this world between worlds and there are certain limitations on what can be done in there but it certainly has the potential for putting Ahsoka and either Anakin or Vader or both into some form of interaction. And if you can think of any other ways that the character of Anakin Skywalker or the character of Darth Vader might appear in the Ahsoka series taking place around 9 or 10 ABY, then I'd love to hear it. So chime in wherever there's a comment section where you're catching the show or at home base for it at SW7X7.com. And that is going to do it for today's episode of the show. It just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited but their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.